Hello, I am back to talk about some things you may have missed or not understood, but this time with Fujimoto's manga, Chainsaw Man. Again, this podcast will contain spoilers, so please click off if you are not interested in reading. It is 96 chapters. They're pretty short chapters in my opinion. I finished the whole thing in a day. Um, Part 2 to the story will hopefully be released soon, but the finished part 1, which is the 96 chapters, is confirmed to be um, animated by MAPPA in the near future, so very excited for that. Um, so quickly diving in, in chapter 42, when we see Riz and Denji at the empty school, he asks him about one of Aesop's fables, the town mouse and the country mouse. Simultaneously, we see Aki and Angel having the same conversation. The country mouse gets to live in the city, but doesn't get to eat delicious food like they have in the city. The town mouse gets to have delicious delicious food but runs a higher risk of getting killed by humans or cats now this is obviously not just limited to food but all other materialistic luxuries denji as we have seen in chapter one lives the life of the country mouse he is with puchita and they have literally nothing to eat um, and they don't get to experience or even get to have any of these materialistic luxuries so it is no it is to no surprise except to reese um that he chooses the town mouse to experience such luxuries Reese would rather be the country mouse for peace, and we can make sense of this answer later because despite becoming bomb girl and causing a huge ruckus like a few pages later, it is later revealed that she is being used by Makima and lives in fear of her. She would give up more materialistic things to be at peace. Conversely, we see Angel say, um, I would rather be the country mouse, but Makima brought me to the city. And um, he says that he will leave the likes of the city to Aki, so we can, can um, just assume that Aki would be the town mouse. Now, um, a few chapters later is when we get to see Fujimoto's telling of Makima's character. Um, when we see Makima stop Reese from running away, she brings up the conversation again while having rats gather at her feet. So it can be implied that Makima was listening to the original conversation back at the school um, through these rats as an extension of her abilities. And this is proven again when Kishibe is talking to... I can't pronounce his name, um, but it's the... I'm just going to leave it up on there on screen. And um, he holds up a sign saying that says Makima is listening. Continuing, she says that she likes the country mouse, not that she would be one. She is above these choices and beyond others. She establishes herself as like, obviously a higher being. Makima is unable to resonate with the mice. She likes them because they are easy to catch and to kill. She is implying um, that no matter how much the country mice think that they are safe from danger, she will find them, as she found Angel and Reese. Um, we get to see exactly how Makima stole Angel, Angel in chapter 74, 75, but I won't get in, into that right now. Um, but we do see Fujimoto essentially makes the fable... Um, where no one wins in either scenario people like makima will diminish the promise of safety from the country mouse and the chance of safety from the city mouse so you might as well reap the materialistic benefits that the city mouse gets of course makima virtually kills all of our mice um in some shape or form by the end of the story so no i don't like her personally but um she is an interesting character to say the least But that pretty much sums up what I have to say about Fujimoto's use of the fable to showcase the personal philosophies of his character. So thank you for listening again. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!